What is going on, Matt Pollock? Man, Chris Maverick, as always, got my best friend, Kevin Anthony. Man, I'm Nighty. What up? And welcome to another live food vlog. I know it's been a while since we did a video, but hey, we're back and it feels good to be back. But hey, with uh, Thanksgiving and all that stuff coming up, you know, it was pretty busy, so I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. But today, we're actually got a little special treat for you. Why? Because we actually have a new guest with us tonight, and her name is April, so take it away. Hi, I'm April. I'm here to help these guys out and test how this place is going to be today. We actually found a new place that was really interesting, and it actually caught my attention. We're over here at a little place called Bonito Michoacan. Now, what was really interesting about this place is I actually read an article about it, did a little survey. So this article, it showed 50, the 50 best Mexican restaurants in the United States. So of course, you know me, I gotta check out what the best Mexican restaurant is for Nevada. So this place actually popped up. And what's really interesting is the description that they gave about this place was you know, they're not into the whole, you know, fancy pants, you know, you know, meals and stuff like that, you know, like how the strip is. But they said they got good food here, good drinks to go along with the meals. And you know me, I love good food and I love drinks. You guys know us, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna try some, you know, good Mexican food, maybe get some drinks, and then we're gonna give you guys our final review at the very end. I guess you could say, uh, now that we're finally back and, you know, having a good time in the city, I guess you could say, unlike that new Chris Brown song, City Girls. Us uh, city girls like to have fun in the city. <laughs> city girls like to have fun in the city. Wait, you gotta improvise. In other words, hold my hand. See, it's not what you think. In other words. So we just got done eating here at Benito Michoacan and I gotta say the food here is bomb. And I mean it is bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. You know, I've had a lot of Mexican food you know in my day. I still do. But this one is definitely the top of the list. So I can see why that this restaurant is ranked the best in Nevada. So especially the portions. I love the portion size because uh, all I did is I just got a little uh, carne asada burrito. The portion is huge. Because I've seen uh, you know plates where you know they serve like small portions, but they literally charge an arm and a leg for it. But you definitely get your money's worth here, in my opinion. So I gotta say, this is one of the few times where I don't have any complaints about this place. So the food was really good. Uh, appetizers were really good as well. They served, they actually served some pita. Uh, yeah, they served some chips. I got nachos. So yeah, it was very good. And I love the salsa too because it was actually uh, quite spicy. So I, don't know, I can handle my spice, but unfortunately, uh, when I did that torta. We're gonna bring it over to April and tell us what you think. So, maybe it's because I'm Mexican, but I've had places that tasted better in my opinion. The portions was definitely really big. All of us had leftovers. It was it was actually pretty good though. So maybe it's because I'm from a different area of Mexico that it was prepared differently. But I I enjoyed it probably like around seven and a half eight um, on a rating for me. It's pretty good. Everything was good. A lot of fun in there. Everyone it's kind of like a little Mexico in there as it is. Everyone was having fun. Good music. Bartenders taking shots with awesome hey. customers. I'm definitely. I uh, would recommend it. Overall, I actually really like the food here. You know, it was really good, but now the, now comes the hard part. When I do a future food vlogs or cheat meals, it's gonna be hard trying to find other Mexican restaurants that can actually top this. So, on a scale of one to 10, I think I could give this place a 9.95. You know, kind of like that song 9.95 from Spunkadelic. You know, if you don't get that reference, watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, shout out to the 90s version. 
that is today's food vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media because I got it all. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. What else is going to come up? You know I'm going to have it. So, and also, be sure to subscribe to April. She, we're going to have all of her information listed in the description box below. Thanks for having me. I really enjoyed doing this with you guys. And I hope we can do this again. <laughs> and uh, before we sign off, uh, before, I was actually wanting to piggyback off of April for a minute. They actually were playing a lot of good songs. They actually played uh, quite a bit of Selena in there. So uh, I guess you should say the Selena and the food in there actually was a pretty good match because that food's gonna be bitty bitty boom boom in my stomach all night. So. Got your dumb. Till next time, good night. See you guys. <laughs>